What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. Today I'm going to show you how to install skins for Plex and where you can get them. First, I have to specify just a little by saying that skins that I'm going to show you how to install today are for Plex home theater only. These skins will not change the appearance on any other device or even the web interface. You might use Plex home theater if you own your own HTPC or do something like plug your laptop in your TV. Plex Home Theater, in my experience, is the single most powerful Plex app for playing your media from your Plex server. I say this because it's the one that's always updated the most, supports all of the Plex features, and suffers no major drawbacks like not having surround sound or crashing all the time. Another cool benefit is that you can change the skin to gain a different look. This process, surprisingly, is actually pretty simple. To start off, you have to get a new skin. To do this, open up your favorite browser and then go to forums.plex.tv. Once there, scroll down the page and you should see an entire section devoted to skins. For this example, I'm going to pick the night skin. I'll find the release thread and then download it. After you have this downloaded, you can open your downloaded folder and then keep it open. Then open a new explorer navigate to your app data folder, which is usually something like C users username app data. Oh, and keep in mind that the app data folder by default is hidden. So you might have to change your folder view options in order to see this. But once you're inside the app data folder, go to roaming and then Plex home theater. And lastly, add-ons. This is the folder that will actually hold your skins. Now head on back on over to your download folder. All you want to do now is take that file that you just downloaded and extract it into the add-ons directory. That's about it. Now all you have to do is select the skin in your Plex Home Theater app. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do this. To do this, go ahead and start the application and once in the main menu, hit the left arrow to see the preference option and select it. Then you should probably already be on the appearance tab, so scroll down to the advanced selection. The first option on the right hand side should say skin. Once you select that, you should see an option for the other skin that you just installed. If you don't see it, then it's possible that the skin you added was either not put in the right directory or is not compatible with this version. This could happen, so if you get an outdated skin, don't fret, just try something different. I'm gonna go ahead and change mine to the night skin and show you how it looks. There are a few skins to pick from, so make sure to take some time, browse around the forums, and find one that suits you the best. As far as I know, the Plex form is the best place to get skins. I'm not saying it's the only place though. So if you happen to know of a different website, be sure to tell me about it in the comments. As always, if you like this video, please click like below. And if you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe.